Tiki Tiki. Welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. Tonight, Dawn of Shabby Meets Bling and I are hosting the Can't Sleep Creation Summer Entertaining Outdoor Fun Challenge. We're all making projects that celebrate outdoor summer living. Let's get into it. I'm making a retro tiki bar sign. These are for my friend Jen, who's having a graduation luau for her daughter. Now, there are several pieces to the sign because I want it to be 3D. So, this is how it all fits together, real quick. These are the tiki's eyes, which go right there. And what we're going to do is we are going to start with the palm front, since that's the background. I'm using two coats of ceramic coat spring for the palm space. And since this is a very detailed piece, I won't really dwell long on the base coating because there's a lot of detail work. I'll base coat this sign with three coats of white. The tiki head will get a couple of coats of Americana Honey Brown. And as always, I'll break down the brand and color of each paint, and I'll tell you what section I use them on. You can find that information in the description box. So I've got the facial elements separately, the nose is a palm tree, and I have teardrop shaped eyes. I'm painting the tree trunk with several coats of ceramic coat pumpkin. I think I did four coats because this orange is really kind of sheer. The palm fronds are Americana Irish moss, and I think they got three coats too, because again, this was a little sheer, this paint. The Tiki's lips are ceramic coat turquoise, and so are his eyes. I'm base coating all of the elements first, and then we'll go back and do all the detail work. The inside of his mouth is white, and I also paint a white teardrop shape inside the eyes too. Pretty sure I did three coats on the uh, inside of the mouth. Now I just freehanded the teardrop shape inside the eye and then filled it in with a flat brush. I decided to make the ukulele two different colors, half turquoise and half pumpkin. But since I have the white on the go, I'll give the flower a couple of coats first. I taped off the turquoise side and I'll apply several coats of pumpkin to the other side. I like the idea of incorporating both colors on the ukulele and I also feel like it has like a real mid-century vibe. The torch fire will also get several coats of pumpkin, and I'm going to paint the holders turquoise, but I don't think I show you that. Everything is base coated, and it's detail time. We'll start again with the palm frond. I have my floating medium here, which is clear gel that assists with shading and blending. And I'm going to add Americana bluegrass green shading around the perimeter of the leaf. I prep my brush by dipping it in the medium making sure that there's a really good healthy coat on there. And I'm gonna side load with the paint by scooping some up on the corner of my brush. It's just on the very corner. Let me show you. See, it's just there. And what we're gonna do is to load the bristles. We'll stroke the brush on the plate. And this will spread the paint about halfway across the bristles, creating a gradient of the color. It will be darkest at the corner of my brush and it will fade as it moves toward the middle. So I'm going to put the paint corner of my brush to the edge of the leaf since that's where I want the darkest shading. Basically, I'm outlining the edge with the shadow. I reload my brush as needed and I'm going to continue completely around the edge. You can always tell when your brush needs to be reloaded. I mean, it starts to feel stuttery and dry. You get the idea. The more you practice with the floating medium, you know, the better you get, obviously. And you just kind of know when your brush needs to be reloaded. So I'm going to speed it up a wee bit here. I don't want to take up too much time, but I do want you to see the whole process. And throughout the rest of the video, anytime I change colors, I'm loading my brush the same way. Sometimes I show it, sometimes I don't. It's really just for the sake of the length of the video. OK, 
Okay, we're nearly done here. And then what we're going to do is after we get this all applied, we're going to come back and give it some pumpkin highlights. I'm coming in with that pumpkin to add the highlights to the leaf. I'm just adding them here and there to pull in that color. I'm not getting too crazy because we actually won't see a whole lot of the palm frond. It'll predominantly be covered with the other elements. So, as I said, just here and there. Okay, so now we're going to shade this sign the same way, except at first I'm using honey brown around the edge, and I'll add some lines across the board to give the impression of planks with the honey brown. You see how I'm stroking my brush back and forth? That's the kind of feather out that um, honey brown, so that it's not all, you know, not, not that it looks too much like a line, but more soft and airbrushed almost. Okay, so now I'm coming in with Tropic Bay Blue, which is a softer turquoise color. You know, I use it a lot. And I'm laying it kind of on top of, but sort of next to the honey brown to enhance the honey brown. And you know me, I like to layer my colors. So we're also coming in now with the orange, or pumpkin rather, and blending all these colors together. I love when they all meld together like that. So awesome. I used my Cameo to cut my vinyl lettering, and I also used the Ray Machine font for the words Tiki Bar and Font Diner Swanky for Get Freaky at the Tiki. I will list the name of the fonts in the description box, and both I got from defont.com. So there we go, getting freaky, and then we'll add at the Tiki at the bottom. Let's jump over to the ukulele. So I added a circle to the center of the ukulele for the sound hole, and I painted half the circle pumpkin, and the other half I'll paint white. I'll do the same with the saddle, paint half white, but the other half will be bluegrass green. And I'm going to add dots for the string posts, and I'm also going to add coordinating string. I'm using the back of a toothpick to add the string posts, the little dotty things at the top there. And before I forget, let's add the stamens to the flower with some uh, pumpkin. And now I'll add the strings, white on the orange side, and then again the bluegrass green on the turquoise side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in where the white part of the circle is, and I'm going to paint the strings in there orange. I was debating whether I should even add strings, but I really think it needed it. And now I'm going to come in the neck of the ukulele and add the little lines. I'm going to shade the blue section with warm sunset, which is like a deeper orange color. And I'm going to shade the orange side with bluegrass cream.
I have a few more projects that I'm making for the Luau. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make separate videos for that because otherwise this video will just go on and on. <laughs> so look for part two, I think probably next Friday. Right, okay. So I'll shade the Tiki's palm fronds with the bluegrass green. And I go heavier on the lower branch or the lower leaves just because I think it looked better. Really no other reason. Let's dot in some coconuts. This is bluegrass green too. I'm adding horizontal warm sunset lines down the trunk and we'll fill in his nose details, his nostrils. And then I'm going to follow that up with bluegrass green. Just follow the same lines that I just laid. And we'll give him some teeth. And he needs some eyes. We're just going to do some delta shapes here. And we'll shade them. This again is bluegrass green. On the trunk, I'm adding some shading with the warm sunset. But you know what? We're going to come in and add some of that warm sunset around the mouth too. I mean, you know, we want it to be cohesive, so we're going to add it to the leaves as well. And you know what? Let's shade his eyes with some of the bluegrass. Decided I wanted to add a bluegrass outline to, to the eyes. And I'm going to do that, well, to the whole tiki head, really. So his nose, his mouth, and to the head. I'll tell you what, describing what I'm doing with these more detailed pieces can really be a bear. A lot of the times I forget what I even did until I look back at the, the film. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just outlining everything with the bluegrass green. I really think it needed it. It makes a big difference. Let's give those coconuts some white highlights. Okay, now I'm shading the tiki head with the bluegrass, and then we are going to add some details to that. Since tiki's have those car deep carvings, I figured I'll just come in and add some, you know, different lines to kind of highlight the various features of his face. You know what, let's give him some fingers and hands here. Our last elements are the torches, so I'm adding a yellow interior with folk art moon yellow. You know, give it that more fiery look, I guess. You know what I mean. White highlights down the torch holders. And I'm shading the flame with warm sunset, the holder too. And I'm going to do a quick stroke of bluegrass green down the opposite side of the holder, the opposite side of the highlight.
Let's give the flames some white highlights as well. Adding some foam polka dots to the sign because there's a lot of negative space there and, you know, I like polka dots. All we need to do is glue it all together. I'm going to use both wood glue and hot glue for this. I think this is one of the most fun parts is when you see it all come together. Yeah, he's a happy tiki. I'm going to place the sign first because I think it'll be easier, you know, to make sure everything else is where it should be. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. Almost. Whew. That was a close one. Okay, we'll place the tiki. And now the ukulele. And finally the torches. Since this is going outside, I'm going to give it a couple coats of Helmsman Outdoor Sealer. It's a Minwax product and it works really well for exterior pieces. This will be under an overhang, but still, you know, um, rather than just my regular sealer, I think an outdoor sealer is appropriate. And there we go. That's our getting freaky at the tiki sign. What do you think? I think it turned out really great. I love it. I know Jen's going to love it too. Here's a final look. I'll post pictures on my Instagram of what it looks like in the environment that I made it for. And check back next Friday. Like I said, I'll have the other pieces in a video for you. I also want to mention that the Can't Sleep Creations collaborations are going to be quarterly, so there'll be at least two more this year. I want to thank my buddy Dawn at Shabby Meets Bling for co-hosting with me. You'll find a link to Dawn's channel in the description box. You're definitely going to want to check her out. She's absolutely amazing and so much fun. Just love her. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.